Lead is a toxic heavy metal that can cause intellectual disability, cardiovascular diseases, and permanent brain damage in children. Out of 3,227 Ghanaian children tested, 1,725 had high lead levels with hotspots in Ashaiman, Ifijakwabre, and Yendi municipalities. Lead poisoning is huge, and as I didn't mention in my address, we're talking about $977 billion lost as a result of the IQ, uh, low IQ levels. That's huge for us. The death rate is huge as well, so we need to do something to curtail this. Lead exposure in traditional eyeliner, Shilo, is a significant concern in the northern region. 93% of samples tested exceeded the Ghana Standard Authority's lead threshold in cosmetics, highlighting the need for increased awareness and precautions. Other sources of lead exposure include household dust, soil, toys, and locally fabricated metal cookware. Programs Manager Occupational and Environmental Health at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Carlos Say, emphasize the need for increased lead exposure reduction commitment. The key thing is to prevent the children from getting exposed. The enforcement of these regulations to ensure that these polluting sources are contained and then the human exposure uh, ceases. Stakeholders signed a declaration of national action to reduce lead poisoning in Ghana, a collaborative effort between Pure Earth Ghana, the Ghana Health Service and UNICEF.